Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May, 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have a lot of energy playing out in one particular area of the sky. And this is an area that will receive massive leaps forward and big breakthroughs and blessings as well. And it starts with the new moon right early in the month, right around the fourth of the month, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, we are going to have a new moon. Now this new moon is one of the more positively aspected new moons that I have seen in a while. It will be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and Pluto and also speaking in harmony with Neptune as well. So that Saturn and Pluto gives with it power and focus and long-term benefit. The Neptunian connection with Neptune in your sign brings this sense of hope and inspiration and almost as if your own dreams are coming true with this time. Now, this new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with a few different things, but one thing that stands out to me here is being in the right place at the right time and just being able to tap into a moment, meeting the right person, and it just makes all the difference. Finding the right words just when you need them, and it helps to propel your life forward. So it's really, really important for you at this time to stay open to synchronicity, uh, to stay open to those random interactions, to be willing to talk to people, especially people who seem very different on the surface and see where it is that it may take you. I would also add with this that there's a sense here of being given opportunity to take your talents to the next level. So whatever talent it is that you're sort of born with or that uh, you sort of found yourself with at an early age, sometimes at an early age we discover these things, this is the impetus to actually make something of it to figure out how it is that you're gonna use what otherwise would have just been a talent and instead translate it into something more tangible, something that's gonna help you to move your life forward. Here's the thing though, it isn't just about the new moon. The new moon is wonderful and yes, there is opportunity here. Now I would also add there's another layer to this part of the sky. It has to do with curiosity, it has to do with learning and so it's a great time for you to be open to taking some uh, short workshops or learning a new skill. In those environments you may end up connecting with people who end up being important to the bigger picture of your life siblings, cousins, and neighbors. There might be uh, some very powerful opportunities presented through these people to you or developments in their life that you feel very happy about as well. But it is, as we navigate further into the month, just days after the new moon, Mercury will move into this part of the sky and very quickly connect with Uranus. Mid-month, Venus will move into this part of the sky and very quickly connect with Uranus as well. And what that tells me is that the energy isn't gonna be just isolated to this one moment of a new moon, but rather will be extended forward and outwards throughout this month. You'll be taking what starts off as an idea, as a possibility, as a connection, as a brilliant insight, as something that could become something more and you carry it forward so that it counts for something. But it is those moments where Uranus gets in the picture that you're really able to make huge leaps into your future and a huge sense of progress can happen in an instant where surprises abound, but they ultimately work very much in your favor. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 18th of the month, that is when we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening in fellow water sign Scorpio. It is one that is of the world. It is expansive, it is hopeful, it is enthusiastic, it is adventurous. It is a part of the sky that has to do with understanding your place in the world, long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, philosophical matters, all of that is covered here. Now, with this full moon standing across the sky, 
from Mercury. There are a few things here that stand out to me. Whenever you have uh, what's called an opposition, which is just as it sounds, two planetary placements standing across the sky from each other, there's a need to consider another perspective, uh, to find middle ground, to find compromise. Uh, sometimes a need to negotiate can come up with this as well. Now, one thing that stands out to me here is just contracts and agreements. Uh, that may be part of this full moon and signing some contract that takes what you do out to a bigger audience may be part of the negotiation or the consideration at this time, as might a legal agreement. Um, but at the same time though, on another level, this can just be having to address opinions that are very different than your own and finding a way to find that common ground can be part of this. Now, this full moon will also be speaking with Pluto as well in harmony, but it is going to take a little bit of work to tap into that Plutonian energy. Pluto right now moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with friends and groups that you belong to. And so what this tells me is that it is ultimately with your alliances with other people that you're able to now what this tells me is that it is in your alliances with other people that you are able to find that much more of a middle ground uh, and that much more motivation to more clearly understand how to best position yourself so that you do negotiate that much more effectively. So make sure you're tapping into the wealth of resources you have where it comes to your friends and professional groups, personal groups, wherever it is that you are connected with others. If it is that you're trying to understand a particular situation or trying to make the most of it, share it. Like it's that simple. Just allow that other perspective in and it can make all the difference to ensuring you move closer to your aims. Now, where it comes to matters of love this week, it is going to be Venus midweek moving into this very spontaneous, synchronistic part of your sky that's going to start working to your advantage that much more. You add to this the fact that we are going to have right in the middle of the month, along with this move of Venus, Mars as well is going to move into fellow water sign Cancer. Well, this is a part of the sky that has to do with flirtation and romance and what the heart truly desires. Well, it does tell me that once we get to the middle of the month and beyond, passion starts to arise as does interest in others. So if you are open to meeting someone new, I do think that it is a good idea to stay open to others, to the world uh, in the second half of the month, making connections with people on social media or online become that much more blessed. But at the same time, stay open to flirtations because flirtations are likely to prove very strong in the second half of the month and beyond. For the next month and a half or so, you're going to have this energy. So there are going to be some notable flirtations that do take place for you. For those of you who are getting to know someone, I feel like with Venus's move, you're going to be able to uh, talk to this person that much more, get to know them on a mind level that much more. But it is Mars that moves into this very romantic, flirtatious part of your sky uh, that does denote an increase of passion where it comes to someone that you are getting to know and someone that you're dating. And so you may find yourself just spending more time with them and wanting to give more energy in that direction as well. And for those of you who are in an established bond look it is going to be a lot more about Mars and the desire to nurture the bond that you have uh, to maintain a sense of connection a heart level connection a romantic connection with your partner that is going to become a primary motivation with Venus in the second half of the month moving into this mind level part of your sky it's going to be that much easier to feel a genuine sense of companionship with your partner as well what I love about this month for you, well look, it's gotta be that new moon. It is just so beautifully connecting with other power players, including Neptune in your side. This really is the month where it can feel as if some power deal or just perfect connection, conversation or agreement is reached that makes all the difference to you now and going forward. This can absolutely be the time when you find yourself 
focusing in more on the things that matter to you, that excite you, that interest you, that you're curious about. And in that sense of satiation, if you will, on a mind level, you will also reach heart. And this month, your heart will beat alive. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.